the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. We are getting ready for Holy Trinity Sunday. The Sunday after the day of Pentecost is, uh, is set aside every year as the Holy Trinity, the only day of the church year that takes church doctrine as its central theme. And doctrine can leave a dry taste in our lives, but it can also guide us into questions that tumble one upon the other. How is God the one enthroned above creation at work in and around us? How is the Spirit renewing? How is Jesus calling us to healing in life? I hope you're asking questions in your life of faith and then bringing those questions into your prayers. Welcome to Advent Prayer Time. As we take time to offer our prayers each Thursday, prayers for vision, for direction, prayers for our community and world, prayers for our families and friends, and prayers to live into the mystery of faith and love and hope and grace. Welcome. Welcome tonight, and we thank you for your prayers. To begin our prayers this evening, hear God's presence in the words of the psalm for this Sunday, Psalm 29, which calls us to worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Hear Psalm 29. Ascribe to the Lord, you gods. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due God's name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord is upon the mighty waters. The voice of the Lord is a powerful voice. The voice of the Lord is a voice of splendor. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedar trees. The Lord breaks the cedars of Lebanon. The Lord makes Lebanon skip like a calf and Mount Hermon like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord bursts forth in lightning flashes. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord makes the oak trees writhe and strips the forest bare. And in the temple of the Lord all are crying, Glory! The Lord sits enthroned above the flood. The Lord sits enthroned as king forevermore. O Lord, give strength to your people. Give them, O Lord, the blessings of peace. Here ends our psalm. Together we take some time to pray, and we begin with a simple prayer. Let us pray. Life-giving, life-restoring, life-fulfilling God, may our whole lives be worship. In all things, may we seek to connect with and to reflect your love and your hope. Amen. Together we offer our prayers this evening. <laughs> 